my name is Marc Perrin from Chateau de Beaucastel and uh, Perrin et Fils. Uh, we are today in London for a tasting of the 09 vintage, although it's still very early. We, uh, we wanted to, uh, to present the vintage to the, uh, the UK uh, customers. So, uh, Onain will be, I think, a great, great vintage. The wine are, are maturing slowly in our cellars. It's a vintage that we combine, in my opinion, a great uh, flesh, a great balance, and tannins, which are extremely uh, uh, present, but very nice, very soft. So it's, uh, for me, certainly a great classic vintage. Uh, great aging potential, but very approachable quite early. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that, uh, that vintage, actually. And tell me what um, uh, your, your company, your family company, is, is, is doing in the Southern Rhone at the moment. Yes, so we, we, my family owns Chateau de Beaucastel since 1909, and uh, you know that we have developed a uh, uh, passion for the Southern Rhone area. And so a few years ago, we started the, uh, the Perrin et Fils uh, operation, and uh, we have gradually purchased a lot of vineyards in, in all the Southern Rhone Valley. And um, uh, what we want to become with Perrin et Fils is really to become the uh, Southern Rhone specialist, but not as a negotiant, uh, uh, as an estate owner. So we own est estates now in Gigondas, we own estates in Côte du Rhone, in Vinsob, in Kiran, and so on. And what are the main differences between the uh, Northern and Southern Rhone, in your opinion, Mark? Well, we have a, they are totally different areas. It's true that people think of the Rhone Valley as one main, one thing, but it's actually two worlds. The soil are different because the northern Rhone is mostly about uh, granitic soils and slopes. The southern Rhone is mo mostly limestone, clay, sand on, on plateau. The grapes are different because northern Rhone is mostly Syrah, although we also use a little bit of Viognier sometimes. Uh, uh, southern Rhone is mostly Grenache and Mauvais. Uh, uh, Northern Rhone is mono varietal, to make a long story short. Southern Rhone is blending, Chateau Neuf du Pape being the, uh, the, uh, the best example of it. Uh, the food is different because the food in Northern Rhone is uh, based on Lyon uh, cuisine, so it's a lot of, of butter, whereas the Southern Rhone is much more uh, olive oil based cuisine, Provençal. And we even support different soccer teams because the Northern Rhone people, they do uh, support Lyon, we support Marseille. So it's actually two worlds, very different, uh, different accent, different, uh, uh, everything is different. And so, uh, but historically, the big names of the Rhone were the uh, Northern Rhone uh, big names which, which came to the South. Uh, we have decided with Perrin to really become, to try to become the Southern Rhone specialist, but being based not on a negotiation business, on, on an estate business. So we own vineyards in all of the Southern Rhone uh, best places. We bring all the grapes to our uh, Perrin Fils winery, uh, located in Orange, and then we do all the winemaking there ourselves, as we do all the viticulture ourselves with the same team as we do in Bocaster. And so it's, uh, it's uh, something which is uh, quite young, because we started it about 10 years ago, but it's really developing very well. And I think that the Southern Rhone is very fashionable right now. You know, people start to understand that there is a great diversity uh, between Gigondas and Vaqueras and Chateau Neuf du Pape and Vincent. You have globally uh, the same uh, climate, but you have very different soils, very different terroir. And, and by doing all the viticulture and all the wines ourselves, we really try to express the diversity of all, all this terroir. And I think it's a fascinating playground between Gigondas and Vaqueras. You know, there will be a uh, five kilometers, the same grapes, the same viticulture made by the same people, the same winemaking made by us, but the wine will be totally different and that's really what terroir is about. So I encourage your <laughs> readers to taste the differences uh, uh, from one producer who does uh, the viticulture and the winemaking and, and from Perrin. Uh, that's great. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.